everyone, it's Lindsay from Minecrafty Plans. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. Today is finally the day I am going to be talking about my 2023 planner lineup. We are gonna switch to tabletop view in just a few minutes so I can show you more in depth all of the wonderful planners I have picked out for next year. But before I do that, I thought I would pop in front of the camera, say hello, introduce some of the planners I'm going to feature, and also just give a couple of disclaimers. The first of which is just happy Planmas. We are closing in on the home stretch, the last week of Planmas. I'm so excited to have made it this far. I'm having a blast putting together all of these videos and I hope you've been enjoying watching them. If you are new to my channel or if you don't know what Planmas is, it's kind of like Vlogmas, but with more planners. Basically, I have had a new YouTube video up every day since the 1st of December and I will have one up until December 25th. If you missed any or you wanna check any of them out, I do have a playlist for Planmas linked down in the description below so you can check that out. Today, of course, we are going to be talking about my planner lineup. I really struggled to put together my planner lineup for this year. I have so many things that are just working for me right now in my life and in my planners that I just want to keep playing around with and experimenting. My planning has seriously never been more amazing. It's never been more useful to my life, but I've just had a really hard time committing to one specific planner or one specific style. So this year, I really wanted to build some flexibility into my system while still creating that commitment to certain planners where I feel like that commitment is really necessary to make it work. Things like my goal setting planner, which I absolutely plan to use throughout the whole year. I'm going to keep the structure that I've come to depend on, but also build in areas of flexibility and creativity where I can try new things out. Things that I've already been using the past couple of months and also some new things that I'm really excited to try out for the next year. So with that in mind, I've split my planner lineup into three different categories. The first category is my main everyday planners. These are the planners, and there are three of them, that I plan to stay in for the whole year to try out to use. These are two returning planners, things that I'm already using, and one newbie that I'm super excited to try out. I'm gonna go over those in a lot more detail because they form the core of my planning system. The second area is my fun, flexible, and functional. Seriously, this isn't even the whole pile of stuff that I have in that category. We're gonna talk more about that at the end, but basically I've left some gaps in my functional planning system, areas where I can experiment and just have fun with it. In reality, I've already actually been doing this for a couple of months. If you watch my channel regularly, you probably kind of know what I'm talking about here. But this year I decided to build it directly into my lineup. Basically what I'm going for here is a lot of fun trying out new planners, that things that I already love and new things that I've yet to discover and just not feeling any guilt about it. It's okay that I wanna be a planner hopper right now. And finally, for number three, I've got memory keeping and journaling. And here, I'm making some pretty big changes this year as well. This is the area of my planner system that I don't feel like has been working super well for me right now, so I do plan to mix it up for the new year and try out some fun new things. Again, I'm not really sure what the commitment level is gonna look like to there, but I've built some flexibility into that system while also carrying over some favorites from the past year. My actual goal with my memory and journaling system System for this year is to build something that while it still feels fun also feels more sustainable than what I had going on last year does and something that I can carry forward with me into the future. Before I jump in and start diving into each of these individual planners I'm going to introduce my main three in the face front and then we're going to flip over to the tabletop view so you can get a closer look at everything in those, my journaling stuff. I'll preview a little bit of some of the fun flexible things that I have going on. But before we jump into all of that I just need to acknowledge the social media of it all. My channels here on YouTube and also my Instagram and TikTok have just grown so much this year and I'm so, so incredibly grateful for that. It's honestly so humbling to know how many how many of you out there like my videos, watch my videos, comment, share, all of that. It just makes me feel so good. So I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone watching, to everyone who's been watching my videos all year. I absolutely love doing this, it is my passion and it just means so much to me that so many of you out there have just responded to my channels in this way. It honestly, it just feels amazing. All of this growth on my channels has enabled some truly amazing brand collaborations. It's seriously so awesome and humbling that brands wanna send me their planners to check out and to share with all of you. I absolutely love that and I'm so incredibly grateful. It's so much fun to try out new things, to see what works for me, what could potentially work for someone else. I am having the time of my life doing this. 
But I do want to just take a moment to acknowledge that one, planner hopping is definitely not going to work for everyone. And honestly, if I didn't have my channels, I'm not even sure it would work for me. A lot of the stuff that you've seen, especially in that fun and functional stack, I've received for free. I will absolutely always share my honest opinion about something, whether I've received it for free or not. And I will also always tell you when I've received something for free or for a discount. I'm so excited to have these opportunities. I do hope they continue in the future. It's honestly so so much fun. I love getting to share all of these planners with you to mix it up and to try new things so that you can take a look at things before you spend your own money and buy them yourself. So I did just want to take a minute and acknowledge that to acknowledge all of you and also just to say thank you again for watching. So with that, let's jump in. So jumping in to the first of my main everyday planners, which this one should come as no surprise to anyone, had to do a quick wardrobe change. I will be sticking with the Moxie Life system for my goal setting this year. So this is the same goal setting planner that I used last year. I seriously cannot speak highly enough about this system. It has completely changed my life. I am a huge fan of the Moxie Life system. I think it is absolutely wonderful. It has just resonated with me in a way that no goal setting system has ever done before. So I am delighted to be starting year two with Moxie Life. I am also an affiliate for Moxie Life. So I do have an affiliate link if you are shopping. Thank you so much to everyone who used my link during launch season. And I did actually receive this planner as at a discount. I did purchase it, but I received a discount on it as for being a member of the affiliate team. So with regards to Moxie Life, I will actually be sticking with the exact same thing that I used last year, the companion notebooks. I've got some of them right here and some of them tucked into this gorgeous folio, which I also got from Moxie Life. I absolutely love this system. You may be thinking to yourself, if you haven't seen these yet, they look a lot different than last year. Yes, they do. On like the surface level, they look a little bit different. They look a lot different than last year. They got like a major glass upgrade. The goal setting system is exactly the same as last year. It ha still has the same, the compass assessment, the same walkthrough of your goals, the same categories, all of that stuff. So only cosmetic changes in there. I'm really excited to dive into this. As of the filming of this video, I've just started my year end reflection process. I have not set my goals for 2023, but I am absolutely really looking forward to diving into that pro process over the next week and sharing my 2023 goals with you. And also finishing out this year in my Moxie Life. I I have made it the whole year using the Moxie Life system. Honestly, it doesn't even feel like it was a chore to stay in it. I cannot speak highly enough about this system. And it's hard for me to imagine that I won't spend another whole year and years to come in the Moxie Life system. I just think it's just really a goal setting system that works and fits very well into my life. If you want to see more about that, I've got a playlist of all that's all about goals and my 2023 annual goals video will be out soon. Changing back because it is absolutely freezing. I don't need to be in a short sleeve t-shirt for the rest of the this video, the second planner that I'm sticking with this year that's coming over from last year, which was actually a mid-year change up for me last year, is the Erin Codron Daily Duo. Again, if you are a regular watcher of my channel, this probably comes as no surprise for you. And I actually bought this last July. You buy them in a set of two. So this is still from my first ever Daily Duo purchase from Erin Codron. Not my first ever Erin Codron purchase, obviously, but I will be switching over to this new book, which starts on January 1st. I will be finishing out 2022 in the one that I I'm in now, but I do get to start on the second book in the new year. I do have the In Bloom colorway. Right now, the In Bloom cover is what's on here. I may switch that out before I start them. I haven't decided yet, but this is going to be my main everyday functional planner for this year. I seriously, before I got into daily planning, I wasn't sure that it was going to work for me. I felt like I didn't have enough going on to use a daily planner. I love this. I love this so much. It only takes me five to 10 minutes to set up for the day. I feel so organized in my day to day life. I absolutely absolutely love daily planning in a way that I didn't expect to. And then also on top of that, this is the planner that has really enabled me to mix things up a ton in my weekly planning, which we will get to in just a minute when we talk about that fun and functional. This is the planner that kind of enables that because I have this and I have the Moxie Life as kind of book and structure on my planning system, which enables me to get really flexible with some things that I still need in my planner, but I have these two core things that aren't changing to anchor that. And finally, number three, also from Erin Codron, my monthly planner. I am going to be using the family organizer this year for my monthly planning. I am so excited about this. This is the new planner, so I've never used this before. It, this first debuted in July of last year. I have had my eye on it and I decided to try it out for this year. This one is in the Harmony Neutral colorway. I did actually purchase this one myself. I picked it up during the Black Friday sale. 
Erin Codron did actually gift me another family organizer, but it was in the Harmony Colorful one, and I really wanted the neutral one. I will be doing a giveaway shortly to give away the colorful one that I already have. I am going to stick with the neutral one for this year. It just matches my aesthetic better. I really like to decorate my monthly spreads a lot. If you've seen my monthly plan with me, as you know what I'm talking about, that calendar spread is not going anywhere. We'll take a closer look at this, but the reason that I love this so much is it's basically a monthly calendar with a ton of different dashboards attached to it, and I love it dashboard spreads. I use so many dashboard spreads in my monthly planning, so this really seemed like an awesome option. I do have three kids. I do keep them organized, and I do have a lot of kiddo activities going on, so I definitely plan to use the family elements of this book, but I actually plan to use this for my whole life as my monthly planner, not just for family stuff going on, literally for everything, content, work, yes, family, house, every, literally everything. This is going to be my main monthly planner. I do hope to stick to this for the whole year, but again, this is my first time using that planner, so we're gonna have to see how it works out for me. So with those three planners introduced, I'm gonna flip things over to the tabletop view, give you a quick look at each of those, and then give you a quick look at my other two categories for my planner lineup. So let's take a closer look at these planners. I'm gonna start with my big three and I'm gonna go pretty quickly through these, just showing you the highlights. If you wanna see any of these in more depth, I probably already have a video on that in my channel. Let me know in the comments down below or search on my channel. I definitely have that this for the Moxie Life System where I go over everything in their goal setting. Also for the first two, I do have plan with me's on these in my ones from last year that I'm still using. So the Moxie Life is a goal setting system and a goal setting planner. They make planner and goal setters all in one, or you can just purchase their goal setting system, which is available in the companion notebooks and now also as a bound full year goal setting planner uh, that just came out on Black Friday. I don't actually have that one. I have the companion notebooks, which I do plan to stick with for this year. So what you get when you order this is four companion notebooks. The last one is tucked into my folio, which was separate. Uh, and then an annual book where you write your annual goals. So your annual book is where you start for the year. Again, this is completely blank. I am about to start working on this uh, in the next couple of days. You, They have a whole goal setting system that you can follow. It's also a really wonderful online community and most of their goal setting process is actually available as a free printable on their website. You just have to be part of their email list so you can get all of this stuff totally for free if an actual planner is not in your budget this year and it's just a really wonderful way to get started. I also use, utilize the free printables all the time to help me with this process since I like everything to look nice and neat in my planner. So again, this is the quarterly companion notebook. The foundation of their goal setting system is basically there are eight life areas where you write your goals across and they have this assessment that helps you kind of analyze your strengths and weaknesses of your life and think about areas that you might want to to focus on for next year. And I find I found this process so helpful when I was first getting started with the Moxie Life System in, in actually setting my goals. They've got intentions. There's a lot of reflections in this process. It's a really nice, but it also isn't super, super time consuming. You're not going to spend like hours upon hours upon hours upon days uh, doing all the preliminary work. Like I know some other goal setting systems out there have. It's like a little bit more action oriented, which I really like. They walk you through how to write your goals and then you kind of break them down. So what you get in all of the Moxie Life Planners and in the companion notebooks is space for your annual goals and uh, that's what is in this front book booklet and then every month you break that down into monthly goals so then you have basically the space in the planner gets smaller and smaller. Then you have space for your monthly goals and then you break that down further and every week you've got weekly actions. So I already do this process this year. I've got a bunch of plan with me's on it. It's been absolutely life-changing and wonderful and I'm so excited to be sticking with it again. Uh, so that is my goal setting planner. That is what I start with during the week. During the monthly process, I like to look at my calendar first. It just helps me to know like what big picture things I have coming up before I actually create my goals, but this is the beginning of my weekly planning routine. If you've seen any of my planning routine videos, this is where we start. We reflect on the previous week and we set up our weekly actions for the next week, and then I go ahead and plan out my week. 
Which, speaking of which, a big component of that is, of course, the Erin Codron Daily Duo. So I am continuing on with this in the in 2023. I've been using this since July. I bought the July Start one, which is actually two separate books, which is perfect for me because I actually strongly prefer a January Start Planner to an academic year planner. But with the Daily Duo, since they're only six months, I bought it in July and I got the back half of 2022 and the front half of 2023. As I mentioned, this is in the In Bloom colorway, so it is the floral one. I think this is so beautiful. And I also like that for the daily pages, you just get a little splash of color. There's not like the whole pattern on the page the same way there is in some of the weekly layouts. I also am a huge fan of the color blends and the Harmony Neutral. Honestly, the only colorway that Erin Codron has on offer right now that I don't like is the Harmony Colorful. Uh, I have seen all of those in person at this point, and I actually currently in my possession have one in every colorway, but I am planning to give away the Harmony Colorful planner that I have. Anyway, so basically this is just a daily planner. There are some monthly pages in here. I do not use this monthly calendar. I find that it is too small for me because I don't think I actually mentioned this, but this is an A5 size planner. They do make this planner in the 7x9 size as well, but I prefer the A5 size. So I find this calendar is just not enough space for me to work with. I absolutely love monthly spreads and find them very functional. So I have that in a separate location, which again, we will get to next. Then I do so often use this dashboard spread. I mentioned this already, but I absolutely love a good dashboard spread. Uh, you know, 50-50 on whether I use the extra notes pages. But what I do use is the daily pages every day. And I'm trying to actually like turn to one where there's two next to each other and I keep missing and hitting a Sunday. There is a notes page at the end of every week in this planner. So here is one. And what you get is a super long time schedule, which I absolutely love. And this was honestly the part that made me nervous because I was like, I don't have enough time sensitive things in my life to have an hourly planner. That's actually why I was originally, originally years ago in an hourly planner and I left it for a vertical because I didn't feel like I had enough time sensitive stuff going on when I left like my full-time corporate job. But I've come back around on the hourly being amazing because I'm a huge fan of time blocking now and I've used that to bring a lot of organization to my day and I really just like that a lot. So I mostly sketch out my schedule for the day even if I don't stick to it 100%. That's what I go in here. You've also got plenty of space for to-dos. This little freebie area, as I like to call it, where you've got like one little asterisk at the bottom and then just some blank space. I often do a quote in here or like some kind of specific list. So if I have something that's a focus area for the day that's got like a lot of steps or that I need, you know, if I needed a list of party supplies or a list of videos I plan to work on during that day or if I was working on a work project and it had a bunch of steps, that is what I'll use this area for. Otherwise, I honestly sometimes leave it blank, often leave it blank, or I just put in a quote or especially a song lyric in there because that is my main source of quotes at this point. Again, you have your to-do list, this little calendar that I hope one day goes away. <laughs> I definitely put that all over the Erin Codron survey this year. And then just this blank space, I usually put my weather and any like priorities or major reminders for the day up there. I do often throw a little bit of washi in here, but I keep these spreads pretty simple. I don't use a lot of stickers in this planner and it's just a really nice, simple way to plan out your day. I still need a weekly planner, which we will get to, but this helps me feel so focused and organized. And like I said before, it only takes me five to 10 minutes to set this up. I do have Plan With Me's in here. If you look, check out my daily planning routine videos. You can see even from the length of those videos, even with talking, those videos often clock in at around 10 minutes. So this is a really quick process and it's just brought a lot of focus to my day-to-day -day life. So then the third and final of the stay in for the whole year planners, this is the one that's the newbie. And there's like one concern I have about this planner, but otherwise I'm just really all in on it. We'll get to it. And this is the Erin Codron Family Organizer. So I'm so excited for this. This is a very recent purchase. I did pick this up on the Black Friday sale. And if you check out my Erin Codron Black Friday haul, you will see like a very in-depth walkthrough of this planner if you want to see that. Again, the colorway on this is Harmony Neutral. Besides the focus line, this is currently the most neutral of the options that Erin Codron offers. The colors are really soft. They are different than the In Bloom colors, but similar. But there's like very little design throughout the planner. 
which I really like because if you've seen my monthly plan with me, you'll know that I like to do a lot of decorating on my monthly spread. So every month uh, I make a full monthly calendar. It is a color coded calendar. I use like all of my mild liners, other markers that I have to categorize things. I currently have six areas of life that I work with. Not the same as my Moxie Life areas. This one is for scheduling. So it's like appointments, kid activities, uh, stuff related to my channel, stuff related to my work, stuff that's related to finances and then other, which is like birthdays, holidays, and things that don't really fit into any buckets. So I do a color that goes with some kind of sticker kit or washi theme. I make this really decorated. I love to use journaling, journaling sticker kits in here and like really decorate up all the edges and everything like that. And then, you know, go in every day with my color coding calendar. I absolutely love this. I did this last year. This was in my Agendio planner, which was my monthly weekly planner at the beginning of the year and then was my monthly and sometimes weekly planner at the by the end of the year. The only thing that I don't 100% love about this planner is that it is Sunday start as are all of the Erin Contra month, monthly pages in the planners. I have a very strong preference for a Monday start planner and this was my literal only hang up about purchasing this, about using this for next year. I am not planning to redate this. That is too much work for me. I am going to just try out Sunday start and try and make it work for me. But in general, I really like my weeks to run Monday to Sunday, uh, both for the weekly spreads, which obviously Erin Codron weekly spreads do, but also uh, in my monthly spreads. I like to just have my weekend bucketed together and not have it split like this. But because of the other functionality on this, and also I just couldn't find anything else that I was as enthused about for monthly planning as this, I decided to just go ahead and give this a try. I do have another 7x9 planner that I actually don't have in my possession yet, but that I will. That's a weekly planner that has a Monday start calendar, so if things get really desperate, I can my migrate to a different calendar, but I'm hoping that this will work for me and that I will just after a couple months remember that this is Sunday and not put all of my Monday tasks on there. So then there are just a bunch of dashboards in here, which if you have seen my monthly plan with these, again, you know, I absolutely, absolutely love a dashboard spread. And then there's a lot of blank pages in here as well. And you've got some memory and journaling spreads in here as well, which I will circle back around with this when we get to the next category. But I'm just really excited to try this out. A lot of this is, again, like there's sections that say family goals uh, and like school and stuff like that. But there's so much space in here. And overall, it's fairly minimal. And I think that you can repurpose it or work within it to create to create the monthly layout that's gonna work for you. And again, I am a big dashboard person. I particularly love the recurring schedule and the space for the habits here. So I'm really gonna try and work with these dashboard spreads and fully utilize them. That's one of the reasons I was so excited about this planner. And again, I do plan to use this for all areas of my life, not just things related to my family. For me, it doesn't make sense to separate them. Family is like a huge portion of what I do. So uh, to me, it just makes more sense to have it all in one place. So that's what I'm gonna do. So that is my Erin Codron family organizer. I'm actually gonna keep this out for another second so that we can just jump right in. I'm going to go to category number three, which is my memory keeping and journaling practice and talk about that a little bit first before I wrap things up with like a really, really quick preview of some of the week, some of the fun functional stuff that I've got coming for this year. So I'm actually, I am just gonna set this aside and start with my cloud planner. So in years past, the core of my memory planning stick system has been those really, really elaborate, beautiful sticker planners where you purchase a sticker kit. It's got lots of foil, lots of florals, overlays, all kinds of character stickers, icons, the whole works. And I still do those kind of spreads, but I am so behind on my 2022 planner, like seriously, so behind on it. It was really stressing me out. I don't want it to stress me out. It's supposed to be a fun thing. It is a fun thing. Uh, so I am making some changes. I do plan to finish up my 2022 to memory spreads. It's going to take me some time, but I feel like I made that commitment and I purchased those kits. So I do want to finish that out, but I decided to switch up what inserts I'm going with this year. In the 
two years past I've been using the Caress Press dated inserts inside a cloud planner. Again, this is still inside my cloud planner. This one is in Horizon. I have two of these, a pink one, which is what I was using last year, and this one, which I will be using this year. I believe I may switch. I also have some other A5 wide ring bound planners. That's what this is. It is an A5 wide ring bound planner. Our, our style makes these the clouds and print pression also makes these if you're looking for something at a lower price point. I have a couple of those as well. So what this is, is it's a weekly vertical layout where you basically just sticker it all up and create a decorative memory spread. This is my one from this year and this is the last spread that I filmed in there which was from Thanksgiving. So just to give you a quick example of what that looks like in case you're not familiar with the practice of memory play with me it's because I do feel like my channel is much more dedicated to functional planning at this point. I really enjoy this. I find it very relaxing. I listen to podcasts or audiobooks while I'm doing it. These are all, when I do these videos, they are all like sped up voiceovers. It's a really enjoyable process. And I actually also love recording the voiceovers, which feels a little bit like a video diary. However, these are incredibly time consuming to do. Each spread takes at least 90 minutes, if not longer. And I just don't always have the time or feel like doing it or I want to do other things. And I just haven't prioritized this at all this year, which has led to me having skipped over many weeks and having things I need to go back to and just being really behind in my memory planner. So because of that, I decided to go with undated inserts for next year to give myself the optionality to make this a sometimes thing instead of an always thing. I definitely still plan to do this kind of spread, but I'm not sure that I want to do it every week anymore. It is just a lot and I've got other things going on. Uh, and I do, like I said, I, I enjoy this, but it doesn't serve a functional purpose. It's really nice memory keeping, but I do memory keep in other ways in other places. And to me right now, this is feeling more of a sometimes thing. So like a couple of spreads a month, at least one, you know, maybe two or three, but maybe not every week. We'll see how I actually feel about that uh, as I'm doing it. But I thought I would mix it up and try undated inserts for the year. So this is from Sadie Stickers now instead of Caress Press. The paper on this feels absolutely amazing. It's really nice and thick and it's got a bit of tooth to it. I honestly really, really like this paper. I think it's gonna be really, really great. And all this is, is I think there's actually 60 undated back-to-back -back pages. So there's no labels in here. I will be tabbing this just so that I can can keep track. I'm probably going to put the tabs on like little cards instead of having them directly on the page. That way I can flip to things easily. But this is going to be my stickering memory planner for next year. So I'm really excited about this, but I'm also just really excited to like free up the mental space and not to feel guilty about potentially skipping weeks uh, more than here and there even. So beyond my stickering memory spreads, I have a lot of other memory keeping and journaling options available to me that I do plan to use, that I plan to try out, but I wanna keep this really breezy and light and not make it a super strong obligation with like a couple of small exceptions and just kind of figure out what I like and what works for me. So I have an Archer and Olive journal. This is a B5 size one and I actually did purchase this last year to use as a journal and I've done like a couple of of journaling spreads in here, but not much. I've also been using this as like a swatch book and other things. So I have plenty of pages left in here and I plan to keep going with that for this year, doing some just like freehand journaling spreads, different kinds of stuff like that, using this for gratitude challenges and other, other journaling-esque challenges that come up throughout the year. Also continuing with my swatching practice, which is really fun and has nothing to do with memory keeping uh, and just kind of using this generally as a really nice journal. I do absolutely love this and I purchased this myself and these are pricey notebooks and I love the paper in here. If you don't know, this is 160 GSM. So it's like very thick paper. You can paint on this. You can use paint markers. So I plan to keep that going. Big component of the Moxie Life system is also weekly reflections. And in the past couple of like really the last quarter of the year, I would say I've really focused on the reflections process a lot in my weekly action items and have found that really helpful and powerful. So again, on journaling, I will be keeping that going and beyond that in order to assist with that two new products were available from Moxie Life this year. Again, I did purchase these myself, but I received a discount for being on the affiliate team. And that is the Daily Reflections and Gratitude Notebook and the Daily Attention Intentions Notebook. And I have one copy of each of these. They each have, I believe, like 60 days worth of spreads. I do not plan to do this every day, but I thought it could be really fun sometimes. So we've got a Daily att Intentions Notebook here, just like a little guided journaling practice to help you set up 
for your day meant to be done at the beginning of the day and then honestly a little bit more interesting to me is the daily reflections and gratitude same thing the same spread every day 60 pages of this and just like a little bit of guided journaling to end your day with so I do plan to bring these in sometimes not going to be an everyday type thing. Likewise, I also have this really cool self-care notepad that Ink and Volk kindly gifted me with earlier this year. I have actually used this a time or two before and I really like it. It's really fun and you do like a little assessment of some areas of your life and ways you can prioritize self-care, uh, ways you can, other ways that are like things that are going on but not urgent, some routines like a little habit tracker and some gratitude. So again, some weeks, some days, I will also be using that for a little bit of guided journaling. Then the final element in my journaling and memory keeping practice is going to be the actual memory pages from the family organizer. So you have some sections here that are dedicated to memory space and I will definitely be trying this out and hopefully sticking with it for the entire year. So you on this one of these dashboards page, you have like this space that says dates to remember and then memories or milestones where you could write about like significant significant uh, like birthday parties or family dinners or anything that happened like that or like kiddo milestones which you know we're out of the very baby years so we're not talking about like first words first crawling first tooth or anything like that although actually my big kid did lose her first like five teeth so far this year uh, already but so you know any milestones you have like childhood or other memories I thought that would be fun and then oh another one here you've got some extracurriculars and then some more space for milestones and achievements and some more just like free space free-handed generally memory space if I don't feel like this is guided enough I will obviously seek help from the internet or from planner resources to get some prompts to help with the journaling spaces in here. But I do want this in addition to being a functional planning space to also have some memory keeping. There's also plenty of blank pages in here. And uh, I currently also do memory, like line a day memory keeping. And I'd like to keep that, uh, I'd like to keep that for next year. And I've done that for a number of years actually. And I will be using one of those pages or potentially even this page over here to do that same line of day memory keeping. So I'll just date it with the days of the month, like one to 30 or 31 or 28, depending on which month it is. And then I just write one thing that happened every day. It's just a really nice practice. And again, I've done that for multiple years. So I will definitely be keeping that. And then you have this little section in the back, which I absolutely love this page. And I'm really, just really excited for this one. So it says the days are long, but the years are short. And then it says favorites this month, funniest things said, best memory from this month and special moments I will remember forever and you have that page for every month so I think that's really really fun again I do plan to use this book for for like my whole life not just for kiddos so even if the favorites for this month might be like a favorite tv show I've been watching or books that I read over the month I've done a really poor job keeping track of what I've read this past year I don't have reading goals or anything like that so I don't mind but I did at least 10 times this year accidentally start to read a book that I had previously read and did not really like that much. So maybe just doing a little bit better with the tracking on that and at least writing, jotting down some favorites, but those could also be kiddo favorites and all stuff like that. So I'm really excited for the journaling spaces that are in this planner as well, even though I'm primarily thinking of this as a functional planner. So that is my little memory and journaling section. To wrap up, I'm going to circle back to the fun and functional category, which was category two and the reason I put it as category two is because this is actually an integral part of my functional planning system is my weekly overview spread I have done this every week of this year I have not stayed in my agendio planner which was the planner that I intended to use that for every week of this year but I have done a weekly overview spread for every week of this year and I find that to be essential actually I think I did skip one week when we were on a family vacation for the entire week for that week I just wrote vacation in my planner but other than that I've done a weekly overview spread for literally every week of the year. That weekly overview, I still feel like I need that even with the Moxie Life and even with the daily planner. I find that very essential and functional, but I 
just don't want to stick to one thing. I want to try out so many new things, use the things, some of the things that I have been using. Uh, you will probably see some things that you've seen on my channel in this stack, uh, namely one of my favorite finds of this year, which is this Ink and Bolt desktop dashboard. This has become one of my favorite weekly overview spreads. I use this quite frequently. This was also gifted to me by Ink and Bolt. So that will definitely be coming back this year. But I've also got a lot of other planners here and actually almost everything in this pile was actually gifted to me by a brand which I am so appreciative of and I really I'm just like very excited to try that out the only exception to that is I did purchase this for Moxie Life myself again I got a discount on it because I am on the affiliate team but this is a horizontal flagship planner I am not going to be doing my goals in the flagship I want to use the companion notebooks for my goals but I'm just really excited to try out horizontal planning I've never been a horizontal planner before but I'm just really feeling it for this year I actually have another other horizontal layout planner that's also coming from a super fun collab so I can't wait to for you to see that I don't currently have that one in my possession when I get it there will be a whole video about that too so I'm really excited for to try this out and I really obviously I love moxie life so that is the only planner that I've purchased myself from this pile but I do have other planners again I've got some more planners still coming here so this is not comprehensive but I've got an ink and volt planner that I plan to use sometimes I got I have a Erin Codron hourly over here. I've got an Erin Codron vertical. I have an Erin Codron horizontal also somewhere. So I'm really just planning to mix it up a bunch and use a bunch of different things for my weekly planning. I've also got a lot of notepads here. So some weeks I'll just do notepad spreads instead of full planner spreads. Again, I have that ink and bolt one. I've got another Moxie Life one. I've also got some habit tracker ones and just other things like that. I've also got meal planning notepads, helper notepads, listing notepads, all kinds of notepads going on. I I love notepads we're notepads and I are definitely having a moment this year uh, so more stuff coming with that as well I share on my channel and then actually I have one of the Erin Codron budgeting planners I'm not sure how this is gonna go but I am actually thinking about setting this up modifying this slightly to help me track some of the financials related to my channel and to my business so I thought that might be cool to use some of this for uh, it's not like a one-to-one -one translation I would say but I thought it would be fun to play around with this and try it out so I do have another budget planner that I either am giving away or did give away uh, just depending on exactly when this video goes out but I have this one which is in the ring bound planner which I decided to keep for myself and then uh, I that way if I want other pages in here if this system starts to work for me then I can then I can build onto it as needed but if you want to see more of that you can definitely let me know in the comments I'm really excited to try that out this is something brand new to me I have never done any kind of paper planning for anything financial I've always done that digitally so that is something new to try out. But yeah, I'm just really excited to have fun, to mix it up, and to just do all of this guilt-free. I really love trying out new planners, filming in my planners, filming in different kinds of planners, so this is really gonna be perfect for me. Again, this is not gonna work for the average person, and I didn't purchase most of these things myself. I was gifted them. I obviously really love them and wanna use them. If you're watching this, I don't want you to feel like you have to buy all the things, own all of the things to make a planner system that works for you. Honestly, you can build a planner system that works just for you using only a notebook. I used a bullet journal for years. So, you know, it's more about helping you find something that's going to work for you rather than copying exactly what I'm doing. That being said, I do obviously love to share my whole planning process and just try all of the things. Which speaking of, I do have another really exciting planner collaboration coming up super soon. So stay tuned for that because again, I still have more planners coming, which I literally cannot believe, but you know, which I still do have a one last really fun planner collaboration coming hopefully before the end of this year so that I can share that with you. I'm really just very excited for that. So stay tuned. That will be up soon. We've got our core three to help keep us focused and organized throughout the year and the other functional areas of my life. We're just going to have fun with it. So that is it. I'm going to throw it back to the front screen to wrap this up. Okay, that is it for my planner lineup. I hope you enjoyed getting to see all of my planners. Don't forget to come back tomorrow. It's still plan miss, so I will have another video up then. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and you can check me out on Instagram and TikTok at My Crafty Plans to keep up with everything going on in my planners. I am so excited for next year. I cannot wait to see what it brings. And again, just thank you so much for watching and all of the support over this past year, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye!